Okay, uh, now is probably a good time for you to to go ahead and answer the actual uh, form uh, or the form of assessment, I should say, um, so that we can provide uh, an answer key to so that, so that uh, we can tell the script how to uh, self-grade everything. So uh, let me just uh, head over. I, you can see I've, I've got it open right here. Uh, I've answered them all. I just put in a fake name, whatever, and I'm going to hit submit. Right away, it gives me that, that nice little uh, message that I left earlier. If I head back in here, we should see that all that content uh, has been filled in. So, so far, so good, okay? And this is the answer key. I know that these answers are all correct. What we need to do now is set up some additional columns at the top uh, that are uh, going to uh, mark the questions um, and then also provide some feedback as well as um, calculate marks, send emails, the, the rest of it. Now, you know, some of this might seem a little bit confusing, but once you've done it once, you're going to find that it's incredibly easy. And again, if you use the same quiz for three different classes and you use it for three years, think of the time you're going to save yourself in the long run. So, uh, so far, so good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to now add in seven more uh, headings uh, so that they can reflect whether or not the student got each of the seven questions correct or not. So. I'm just going to go question one, okay, and then on this one I'm going to do question two, highlight both, and then just drag them across, okay, and that should autofill. And for this I like to just color code things, so I'm going to fill them with blue, and I like to center everything. Okay, so we know that these are going to reflect whether or not the answers uh, were correct or not. Okay, over here we're going to have a total, so the total number that we're right, a percentage, and a comment. Okay, so this is going to calculate the total out of all of these. This is going to calculate the percent, and then we're going to add in a comment that's going to uh, be added as well. So, and then finally, I want to add in seven more columns so that I can give the students feedback, and I want that feedback to be based upon whether or not they got the each of the questions correct or incorrect so I need seven more I've run out of columns here so I need to add seven more so here's a nice little trick for you I can take this one and go back seven so one two three four five six seven highlight all of those right click on this one and then insert seven to the right okay so now if I scroll over I've got seven more so now I'm just gonna call these question one feedback Question two, feedback. Okay, so let's take a look at our entire form. And oh, I'm gonna color code these as well, just so that as if I'm referring back, I know exactly what they are. And again, I'm just one of those guys that likes to do that. So these guys are all going to get centered as well. Let's make this an orange, a yellow, and a green. Okay. Color coding your cells is certainly not required. So let's see what we've got here. What we have are the timestamp. We've got the contact information for the student, including name and email address, and the actual answers to their assessment. Then what we created was seven new columns, each of which are going to reflect whether or not uh, they received each of the questions correct or not. We've got a total, a percentage, and a comment section here which I'll make a little bit bigger because it's gonna have some big comments in there and then we have so that we can provide meaningful and instant feedback on each of the questions um, that is going to reflect also whether the student got the, that question correct or not so let's come over to the beginning and and uh, and talk about how we're gonna get this whole thing set up so we're, we're just gonna put some place some formulas in here that are going to once we install the script, to be applied to every other um, submission of this form. So here's what we're going to do. Question one is actually in E2. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit of a formula in here. So we're going to go equals and we're going to use an if statement. So we're going to say if and I'm going to do a bracket if E2 is equal to e dollar sign two so what that says is if the value in 
this cell is always the same or it or matches exactly what is currently in E2 which we know is correct we're going to so that I'm doing a comma and a 1 which represents put a 1 in here and I'm going to do comma 0 if it's wrong okay so this if statement says if E2 okay is exactly what what we're going to see in here, you're going to put a 1. Otherwise, put a 0 if it's not correct. So if I hit enter, you should see that because it matches, I'm getting a 1 there. So now what I'm going to do is take this code. I'm going to highlight the columns all the way down to that question 7. And I'm going to hit control R. Okay, and that's going to copy that code to the right with all the cells that I have selected. So if I select this one, it should be F2 because F2 is question two and F3, F3. Okay, nice and simple. So now let's go over the total. Okay, so for the total, we're gonna put another little code in. So we're gonna go equals sum, okay? And then we're just gonna choose the range right here. So basically what we're saying is count these numbers right here. So I'm gonna go from there to there, close that off, hit enter. Okay, that's seven. There's seven questions, seven, so far so good. Now for the percentage, same thing, we're gonna choose equals, and now we're gonna take the total, so we'll take this cell, so, right, equals this cell, divided by the number of questions, in this case it's seven, and then times that by 100, okay? So that should end up being 100%, very good. Okay, so under this comment area, I want to be able to automate a message that's going to appear that we can then um, force into the script uh, and then into the email based upon the score that they had. So let's say, for example, that I'm saying the passing grade on this needs to be 70% or higher. So we're going to create a really quick if statement here uh, that says exactly that. So let's go with another equals. if okay and now we're going to say uh, the cell so we're gonna say percentage so let's say T so if T2 is greater than 69 because I'm saying that 70 is a pass so if T2 if this cell is greater than 69 percent okay then remember here's where we do the yes or no the zero or the one so I'm just gonna do a comma and then I'm going to do quotations because I'm putting actual text in here. I'm going to say uh, just something nice and sweet, uh, short uh, for this example. But let's say, congrats. Oops, all caps are on. Congrats. You passed. Please move on to the next section. Okay, period, quotation. Okay, and now I need to put a comma and put in here, okay, what, what, what are we going to put in there if they get less than 70%? So we're going to say, um, let's just say you did not achieve the goal of 70%. Please review your materials and try the quiz again. Okay, and that's probably more than I need to because I'll show you guys once we get the script going how you can customize this even further. But uh, again, this should just uh, give you an idea. So let me just close the quotations on that and hit enter. And you can see that because the percentage here is over 70, it's, telling, it's saying congrats, you passed, please move on to the next section. This is important because again, we can force this into the script automatically. Okay, and now we've got the question feedbacks and so basically these are going to be exactly the same kind of if statements uh, based upon the numbers that exist in our first seven questions right so the one represents a correct answer so we can just do a quick um, if statement here that is going to reflect whether or not this number is one or zero hopefully I haven't lost it so let's go equal so let's try this one more time so we're gonna go equals if Okay, and we're gonna choose L2 is equal to one. Then remember here's the, here is the uh, comma. And I'm gonna put in question one is correct. Or even better, how about we say um, question one you answered 
correctly. Okay, quotations, comma, quotations for the, if they got it wrong, and we'll put question one. Um, and then let's, we need to review what the question is. Using the above image, which is the following, uh, which of the following is a correct statement. So uh, basically that is an example of a small aperture. So we're gonna come over here and say, uh, question one, um, the size of the aperture is determined by the size of the opening of the lens. Therefore, the photo is an example of a small aperture. Okay, and quotations. So let me just hit enter quickly. And you can see again, question one, you answered it correctly. Now, I'm not going to uh, waste your guys' time filling all these in, so I'm gonna quickly pause the video uh, put a couple of these in here as well and then come back in a second. Okay, beautiful. So now I have, uh, I completed all these really quickly. If I open one up, you can see that I, I put the correct answers in, but you're going to check. We'll, we'll see that a little bit later when we send out the feedback to the kids. Um, basically, our spreadsheet is done. I know it, it seems like it took us a little bit of time and the first time you set it up is going to take a little bit of time, but I think you, you're really going to see the benefit of it uh, long term and you know, the ability for your students to have instant feedback uh, is pretty powerful stuff as well. So um, at this point, if you want, you could go ahead and you could test out the form again, but we haven't automated these formulas or copied them further down. And, um, you know, there, there's there's ways we can copy down the formulas, but it's much better to let the script do it because uh, then it will apply to every new um, submission that comes in. So um, at the beginning of the next video, we are going to jump into the scripting question, which is Formule.